Meredith here from artsandclassy.com. I'm very excited to be on here today with you because I get to share my most recent furniture flip. If you're not familiar with what furniture flipping is, it is in the process in which you take a furniture piece and you make it over into something new and beautiful. Uh, you give it a new life. You completely transform it so that someone else may enjoy it. I like to add a lot of creative touches to the pieces that I create or the pieces that I flip. And I'm excited to share with you how I decided to take this very plain, kind of semi-boring side table nightstand. It could serve multiple purposes uh, to something that actually has a pop of glam, but it also has like that rustic farmhouse elegance that I know we a lot of us love and enjoy. So stay tuned for the transformation. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process and you can see how I turn this table from bleh to glam. Enjoy. All right, so this is the before of the table. I really felt like it had good bones and it was in really good condition, so I thought it would be a prime piece that I could flip. And when I usually start a project, I will do a, a good wipe down. That's like my first step is to clean and wipe down the whole piece to remove any dust or dirt. The next step would be to remove any hardware that the piece might have if it does have any and wipe all of that down. Uh, painter's tape is a staple with my DIY projects, so I don't know what I would do without it for certain painting projects. For this project, I'm using a company called Retikits Liquid Wood. I used it on a recent farmhouse furniture flip that I did, and I will link that. Um, I decided to use their weathered wood, liquid wood uh, top coat. So I'm painting down the top because I want to give this tabletop a fun, weathered, rustic farmhouse look. So this is the first coat that I am applying to the surface. And uh, it usually takes about two coats. Uh, for it to really achieve the opacity that I'm looking for before I apply the stain. I had to make sure to get all the sides of the tabletop too to make it look cohesive and finished. Uh, but yes, I just applied with this with a brush and it went on pretty easily, just like regular paint, but it actually is a liquid wood once it dries. So it will stain like a wood surface once I've applied the amount of finishes or the amount of layers to the, the paint that I want to add. If you notice my dog Joey, she is always my supervisor with all my projects. She is the best. Uh, next up, I'm going to be applying the second surface or the second layer of this liquid wood. As you can see, it applies a lot more opaque. You don't see any of the wood grain underneath from the original finish. And it applies pretty quickly and then it dries within a couple of hours. Uh, while I was waiting for that to dry, I took out my Deco Art Chalky Finish Paint, which is a chalk paint, in the color Vintage, and I will link that in the description below. But it is a really fun, beautiful color. It's very subtle. I decided to paint the rest of the, of the table with this uh, Chalky Finish Paint um, outside of the rustic top that I was doing with the Retikit Liquid Wood. Now, I had to do a couple coats of this chalky finish paint, and I really had to make sure I was doing a very thorough job. I didn't paint the underside of this table, but I did paint the, um, make sure to flip the table over to make sure I was getting every little nook and cranny, just because there's so much detail on this piece that I wanted to make sure I got everything and I didn't miss anything. So I went in with a small artist brush to help, you know, achieve the, the, the little detail um, areas that maybe weren't were missed when the piece was flipped right side up uh, and This just took a couple minutes. It took a couple coats. It dries really fast uh, But I really think it makes all the difference with how this piece ends up looking especially when I go to sell it afterwards Next up. I'm I'm applying my first layer of my gel stain uh, The color that this one is called I believe is weathered wood I could be wrong, I will have to double check that and link it below, or it's like a rustic gray, I can't remember. But uh, I will link it in the description below. Uh, I did one coat and I did long uh, brush strokes in the, in the direction that I wanted the grain to end up uh, looking like. So this is the second coat that I'm applying. As you can see, it applies a little more opaque this time around. I am planning on using my wood graining rubber tool to add a little more of a distressed look to this tabletop, but I knew from my last project that applying at least two coats of this gel stain was the first step before I would actually use that tool to give me the look I was trying to achieve. So now I'm using my wood grain tool. This is the third layer of stain and I'm going 
painting and then I'm taking uh, the gel stain away with that wood graining tool and I will link that tool in the description below if you're interested in getting one for yourself. And as you can see, it really adds a fun rustic look. Um, this project I decided to actually paint the existing hardware and I used a metallic gold acrylic paint that's actually an artist paint to give it a, like a really nice pop and I did a couple of coats of that. Once I was waiting for that to dry, I actually went through with some sandpaper and I added a rustic look to this table with that sandpaper. So I, I sanded down this, the edges of uh, you know different parts of the piece to just give it a really rustic weathered look. And I'm really happy with how that actually came out. Um, it only took a little bit of time. Once I was done with that, I dusted it all off and I used my top coat polycrylic finish uh, and I painted about two coats of this polycrylic finish to the entire piece to add that extra layer of protection and to make sure it doesn't get damaged uh, in the future, uh, just to make sure it, it retains the look that I have given it, uh, especially when it goes to a new home. I don't want it to get destroyed quickly. So this is uh, probably about a two coat process for me. You could add more coats if you want. This finish is a matte finish, so it doesn't take away from the rustic look that I have given it. Now, as you can see, this is me applying coat number two, um, just because I really wanted to make sure that the tabletop itself was really sealed and secure. I went in and I did actually a third coat on the hardware, and once that dried, I then went in and um, apply or reattached it to the piece. But as you can see, I'm actually going in with a small artist brush just to get all the details down. And then I took my screwdriver and I reapplied or refastened the hardware to the piece. And I think it turned out really great. Um, I did go into the little drawer for, the, uh, for this piece and I added a, another coat of paint just to make sure I got every little detail of this piece. I didn't want to leave any piece or part of this piece um, unfinished. So once I applied the, uh, the hardware, I actually noticed a couple little details that needed to just be fixed. So I did and voila, it is done. So this is the finished product. I really am happy with how it came out. I think it just has a very subtle look to it, but I like that it has kind of a glam factor to it with the gold hardware. Uh, the rest of the piece though turned out exactly how I had hoped it would, and I'm really pleased with the finished product. Let me know what you think. All right, so I'd really love to know what you think of this project. Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I try to stay pretty active in the comments and responding to you. Uh, if you have any questions about this piece and how I transformed it to where it's, it looks today, I would be happy to answer those questions in the comments. And make sure you check out artsandclassy.com for the full tutorial, as well as other projects. If you're looking for more inspiration and you're looking for more guidance, uh, there is, are more resources and more projects over there. Uh, and also make sure to check out uh, other videos on my channel. I really appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, I would love it if you would subscribe for more videos and then also be notified when I post my most recent video by clicking that bell icon. Anyways, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.